Iron Banner is back for week two of the Revelry, and I will be going over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. As you guys can see, the Iron Banner is back, and it is the second week of the Revelry event, and is also the wonderful weekly reset. But before we get into the weekly reset, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of May 2019, then let me know in the comments which Iron Banner weapon you will be grinding for this week, as well as click on our link in the description box below. And let's go ahead and start with the challenges. On Titan, we have your Heroic Adventure, as well as the Flashpoint for the week, and you can complete this by doing public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures. If you do heroic public events, you can actually get this done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, you need to complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three um, strikes. Modifiers this week are Void Singe, Blackout, Heavyweight, and as for the Nightfall, we have the Corrupted, Strange Terrain, and Exodus Crash. Coming over to the Gambit. For the Reckoning. The modifiers are Solar Singe, Attrition, as well as Brawler. And you can go ahead and check your different tiers. Then we have Gambit, which you need to complete three Gambit matches, as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. As for Crucible, the mode for the week is Iron Banner, and you need to complete five Crucible matches. As for Petra Vend, at the Dreaming City, she is located in Ray Sylvia, so go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. And as for the Traveler, we have uh, 20 bounties to complete for Ikora Ray. We also have weekly bounties uh, for the clan to complete, and we need 5,000 XP for that. And then last but not least, we also have to do two weapon frames at the Forge. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for us this week. So as for Eververse packages, we have the Muta Party Bundle. Comes with the Jubilee and Angram, as well as Fire Team Medallion, as well as uh, 250 Bright Dust. Then we have the Hop Along Bundle. This comes with the Jubilee and Angram, three of them, as well as the Cottontail Shell. Cottontail Shell comes with the Public Defender, Omni Telemetry, and a random mod. And then we also have the Verdant Crown, uh, shader and we get five of those uh, And then these are older um, Packages For the reverie itself. We have the stylish fist bump Something that you and your buddy can do together then we have the hype dance Then we have this wonderful uh, vehicle Looks uh, pretty stylish. I don't have it, and I wish I did, but I will be grinding for it. Then we have this terrible looking ship. The Ladylike Shell. This comes with Guiding Light, which all XP gains increased by 10%, and that is in any activity. Then we have Omni Telemetry, as well as a random mod. Then we have Ghost Shell. The Cheese Projection. I mean, I wish we could actually put this on weapons. I would definitely go ahead and put it on a uh, Jotun, because it is pretty cheesy. Then for the armor of the week, we have chest as well as legs. For bright dust purchases, we have uh, cloister dance. Awkward greeting. Then we have uh, Vehicle, 
another vehicle. This wonderful exotic ship, that's a reskin. This wonderful exotic ship, that is a K-Bar's Glass Aegis, and it is from the Curse of Osiris. Then we got this uh, Poison Courier Shell. The Twin Snakes Projection. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the Victorian Silver Hawk, which is the ornament for the Celestial Nighthawk. I already have mine, but still looks pretty badass. Coming down to the Colony, we have a new ornament called the Colony XZ812. Looks pretty cool. I have it myself. Then we have the uh, tw uh, 87, I can't even send, say that, Ennui for the 21 Delirium. Not gonna lie, it actually looks pretty cool. Then we got the Trap Demand Effect, both of them. Uh, Chrome Stock Shader. That's what that looks like, as well as the uh, Dawn and Dusk. Then we got your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, Gleaming Boon of the Crucible, as well as your Fire Team Medallion. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. So, coming over to Lord Saladin, let's go ahead and see what he has this week. We obviously have Iron Banner Bounties. These two will get you these two weapons. Then we also have the Iron Banner Gear. As for the weapons, we have the Talons of the Eagle, which is a scout rifle. This comes with Polygon Rifling, Extended Barrel, Appended Mag, Drop Mag, Outlaw, and Rampage. That actually looks pretty nice. And the uh, Masterwork is Stability. So I probably would go Extended Mag, obviously uh, bring that stability back up with Appended Mag, Outlaw, and Rampage. As for the uh, second weapon, it is the Roar of the Bear, which is a rocket launcher. This comes with hard launch, smart drift control, uh, high velocity rounds, black powder, snapshot sights, as well as auto loading holster. And the masterwork for this is handling. Not that good of a weapon. So if you guys were grinding for Iron Banner, I definitely would just go ahead and grind for this. And then coming down here, we have your iron, uh, the Iron Burden, uh, which is a consumable. Then we have an emblem, the Weight of Guilt. And you need to complete all Iron Banner bounties to get this. And then the Wizened Rebuke. And this requires Triumph completion. So let's go ahead and find out what Triumph you need to complete. So while influenced by the Iron Burden, Land final blows on opponents who have a higher power level than you. And when you need to compete, uh, I'm sorry, you need to beat 500 opponents in order to do that. So, while uh, visiting Eva Levante, she has a couple new things for us. So, she does have a new stock of weekly reverie bounties. And uh, all of them give you powerful uh, engrams, so definitely go ahead and uh, do those. Then we have your uh, daily revelry bounties. We'll give you Reveler's Essence. And this is worthless. Don't waste your time on it. And as you guys can see, I no longer have the uh, Arbalist on here because I have my Arbalist and it is amazing. If you guys want to see a review on this weapon, then go ahead and click on the annotation at the top right of the screen or um, at the end of this video. It is an amazing weapon, and I tell you everything about it and why it is amazing. Last but not least, don't forget to visit the Drifter. He also has a lot more uh, bounties for you, as well as more ways for you to get powerful gear. This is Gamut Bounties, and I actually don't have his uh, Gamut Prime bounties unlocked, because I haven't been doing Gamut Prime. But there are stuff there in order to get you uh, powerful uh, gear as well. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. 
Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.